Snow Strong. Strong. You may remember Street Racer from 5th generation consoles like PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn, but those games are actually ports of the original Super Nintendo game made back in 1994. Street Racer is kind of like a cartoony version of Road Rash, but in carts. The obvious comparison here is with Super Mario Kart, but there are substantial differences, the biggest being that there's no projectiles, the combat is all close range, you gotta be next to someone to do any damage. Although the attacks are pretty limited, one thing I really like here was having the attack buttons assigned as the L and R shoulder buttons. That's perfect and very intuitive. The other more subtle difference is that the controls aren't as loose as Mario Kart. That game is a bit more drifty, while Street Racer is closer to an arcade-style racing feel. So yeah, while the temptation that is there to write this game off as a blatant, cheap Mario Kart clone, Street Racer is its own thing entirely. There's over 20 tracks, many of them littered with bombs, but some of the tracks are pretty bland. Nothing remotely in the same universe as the Ghost House in Mario Kart, for example. There's eight characters to choose from, and each has a unique special move. The single player mode has the same structure as Mario Kart, three circuits where you're awarded points based on your finish, but there's also bonus points, like for having the fastest lap for example. And of course, since it's a combat racing game, there's a big obvious knockout meter that you have to be wary of. Take too much damage and you're done, just like F-Zero. As you can see, the single player mode enables the entire screen, which is really nice, and you can see how great this game looks, everything from the kart sprites to the attacks, to how the mode 7 effects line up with the movement of the background perfectly. This game really looks fantastic. Even Top Gear 2 and Top Gear 3000 aren't this good looking in full screen. Where Street Racer really stands out are the extra game modes. There's Rumble Mode, which I admit gets kind of boring after a while. It's essentially just bumper cars, last man standing wins. But there's also a soccer mode, but it's not quite how it sounds. It's a free-for-all soccer match. No teams, just every cart for themselves. It's pretty fun, and it could have easily just been its own game. Last, Street Racer also features 4-player racing and 4-player battle mode. Yeah, it looks pretty dang ugly, and your field of view is pretty narrow to say the least. The 4-player mode in Top Gear 3000 is probably better, but this is still a really nice feature to have, and there's hardly any lag or slowdown. It was rare for any game to provide 4-player support, so despite how ugly it is, it's still pretty nice to have. So yeah, like I said before, if you wrote this game off as a mindless Mario Kart clone, you're in the wrong. Street Racer is its own thing entirely. For one thing, it looks a hell of a lot nicer than Mario Kart visually, but the extra game modes and 4-player compatibility are what really set it apart from every other racing game. 